Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back for another review. Today we are doing a Romeo and Julieta, and it is a Montague. Um, I think I've had this cigar before, but I cannot remember for sure. Um, I haven't done a review on it, so I definitely know that. Um, but I think I've smoked it before many years ago, but like I said, not 100% certain about that. Anyway, it's a Romeo and Julieta Montague, and it is, looks like a nice cigar. Feels like good construction all the way through. Might be a little, packed a little tight, but I guess we'll find out when we start giving it a smoke and see. Anyway, the information on this one, uh, let's see, get it pulled up here. Okay, this is, um, it has uh, Dominican and Nicaraguan long fillers, um, Nicaraguan binder, and a Connecticut broadleaf Maduro wrapper. There's that. And it is from Nicaragua. It origins are in Nicaragua. So, alrighty, there we go. Anyway. I don't know if you can see it. Nice oily sheen on the wrapper there. Really nice. Let's get the paper off of here. Don't like paper between me and my smoke. Let's save this band if I can so I can put it in my scrapbook. Ah, it's come off pretty good actually. A lot easier than the uh, Verona band, that's for sure. That one I had to tear off. This one peeled off. Anyway, got that. Looking for blemishes in the wrapper. Not seeing any. Looks like it's pretty consistent color all the way from foot to head. Not seeing any blemishes. Of course, it's a really dark wrapper. I mean, uh, it's almost black. But not quite. Nice aroma. Get some woodiness coming through on it. A little bit of that Spanish cedar. Earthiness. Mmm. Nice aroma on it. Nice. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to do something different this time. Lately, I've been punching my cigars quite a bit, but you know what? It's time to break out the trusty tabletop. Oh, sorry. Just a minute. Forgot I had a charging cord in it. My tabletop cutter. There you go. Do a V-cut or a cap cut. Stores it inside. Then you can empty out the stuff. So let's give it a try. I think today I am going to go with a V-cut. I haven't V-cut a cigar in a long time, so I think I'm going to do that. All right, just put it in there. Pull the lever down. And away we go. There we go. A little bit ragged, but not terrible. You know, I've seen worse. I've seen a lot better. But it works. Picked that up. I picked that up at a tobacco shop in Marietta, Georgia, a lot of years ago, and I always had it beside me whenever I uh, smoke, wherever I smoke at. So, yeah. All right, pre-drop. Mmm. Oh wow. Some sweetness coming through on the pre-draw. Definitely getting that woody uh, Spanish cedar coming through. Not getting so much earthiness, more sweetness. If you hear somebody in the background making noise, that's my nephew in the next room playing video games with his friends. He gets excitable sometimes and can get rather noisy, so 
please forgive me if you hear him and it bothers you. I'm, I can't do anything about it. Well, I mean, I can tell him to keep quiet, but why would I do that? He's playing with his friends, so no big deal. If that's the worst thing that happens to me today, I'm having a damn good day. Hmm. Yeah, I'm liking that pre-draw. All right, well, let's put it to the five. Oh, forgot to tell you, it's a Robusto size, a five by 52. I'm a little, I'm a little off my game today. We've been cleaning up from the hurricane and just a little off. Hurricane Milton, that is. I'm actually, this uh, video that I'm doing right now won't show up for another uh, week and two days or so. It won't drop till then, but I figured I might as well do it while I got a chance and get it uploaded and then schedule it to drop. So. Mm. That's nice. I like that. Wow, getting a lot of that Spanish cedar coming through. Earthiness. <coughs> a lot of pepper through the nose. Peppery back through the nose. Not getting so much of the sweetness I had in the pre-draw. It's a smooth smoke, but yet it has some pepper. I mean, it's kind of weird that way. Um, it's not peppery on the palate, but it's peppery through the nose. And it's smooth on the palate. But definitely getting that Spanish cedar and a uh, little bit of that sweetness coming through. Yeah. Oh. Let's see. Looks like it's maybe going to try and start to run, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on that and see how it goes. Good draw, no resistance, nice, easy draw, get a good amount of smoke through it. Um, construction seems good, consistent, top to bottom. Yep. Wrapper seems to be holding up. It's, I mean, other than that little tiny where it's starting to run, but it looks like it's actually evening out as we go along here. Yeah, yeah, I think this is going to be a good one. I will say this, this is definitely a full-bodied cigar. I would not recommend this for a beginner. It's it's a full-bodied cigar. So, yeah. So far, anyway. We'll see how it is at half and finish. All right, well. I'm going to pause it there, and then I'll let you know when we get to the halfway mark. All right, as you see, get down about the halfway mark. Been a good smoke, excellent construction, not had any problems with that. Uh, wrappers held up good, no splitting or anything of that nature. Uh, still a good, easy draw, not too overly packed. Still getting a good amount of smoke with the draw. Yeah. Um, it's smoothed out quite a bit, not quite so peppery, not so spicy. It's uh, woodiness still coming through, a little earthiness. Um, just a good cigar that is, oh, wait a minute, I, I messed up. I guess the uh, wrapper is messing up just a little bit, as you can see there, coming undone. No big deal, though, the binder is still intact, so... We still got the seal. Um, I didn't notice that. My bad. I apologize for that. Yeah. Good cigar. Smooth on the palate. Um, like I said, the pepper, no more spiciness, no more pepper. Um, good woody aroma to it. 
nice aroma back through the nose. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah. All right. Well, I will uh, update you when we get down to the end of it. All right. As you can see, we're getting down the end of it here. Good cigar. Very good. Uh, construction, excellent. Still smooth. A little woodiness, earthiness. Good smoke. Good smoke all around. Yeah. On the back side, getting a little bit of uh, leathery notes in there. Just a little bit. Touch of leather. Yeah. Thoroughly enjoyed this smoke. It has been a real good smoke. I would recommend this for anybody. I wouldn't recommend it for a first timer though because this is definitely a full bodied cigar. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a full bodied cigar. I would not recommend it for a beginner. But if you've been smoking for a while then if you like a strong cigar then yeah, this would be the one for you. I tend to gravitate towards Maduro wrappers anyway. I like the full bodied smokes over the lighter bodied smokes. I mean, not that I don't like lighter bodied smokes, but I just tend to gravitate towards the polar bodied smokes. But that's just me. Everybody has their thing. That's the wonderful, wonderful thing about cigars, you know. Doesn't matter. You can like it, dislike it, any certain cigar. It's up to you. It's your own personal experience. So, anyway, that's about all I got for this one. I appreciate you viewing. I appreciate you uh, coming along on this. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit that all notifications bell so you'll be notified when the next video drops. Uh, if you uh, please comment, let us know if you've had this cigar before and what you thought of it. Uh, if you had any problems with it or if it was a good smoke or what, I appreciate the comments. I always do. Um, if you would like to give a shout out, uh, help me keep making cigar videos, uh, I would appreciate it. Donations are never expected, but always very much appreciated. I, I thank you very much if you send a donation. Um, you can find the information for my PayPal and my Cash App in the information below the video. Um, if you'd like to make a donation, I appreciate it. But that's about it for now. So, uh, as always, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.